The menus and toolbars from Access 2003 have been replaced by the ribbon. So one of the biggest steps in switching to 2013 is knowing where things are. I'll start by clicking Home, and you can see the ribbon expands until I click a command. If you want to keep the ribbon open all the time, you can click the push pin icon here. To close the ribbon, even if it's pinned open, click here. So let's look at where things are. Home has the commands you use the most. This is where you sort and filter data, add a totals row, find and replace data, and format text. See this? It's a dialog box launcher. This one starts the clipboard, and this one starts the datasheet formatting dialog. You click Create when you need something new tables, queries, forms, and so on. You can start the usual designers and wizards or use the new tools. As an example, I'll click Table and notice these new tabs. These are contextual tabs. They appear when you need them, and the ribbon surrounds them with a color to remind you of what they are. In this case, they give you commands related to tables, setting data types, and creating relationships or lookup fields. When you go to work on something else, the tabs disappear until you need them again. When you need to import or export data, click External Data. You can import to and export from the usual sources, such as Excel, plus some new ones, such as SharePoint lists and Outlook folders. Database Tools is where you start Visual Basic and run the database documenter, and you can see it's also another place to create relationships. If you use keyboard shortcuts, they all still work. For example, Control plus S saves any changes, and Control plus F starts the Find dialog. But now you also have key tips. Press Alt, any letter to go to a tab, then any letter to use a command. Just remember you don't need to hold the Alt key while you press the other keys. Another feature related to the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar here. It gives you common commands such as Save, Undo, and Redo. You can add or remove commands by opening the list and selecting an item. If you don't see what you want, click More Commands, and you can add anything you need. So next up, I'll show you Access Apps, and these are just databases that run in a browser.